is running. Hey Jess. Hey girls. Come on in. You girls ready for our game of truth or dare? Yep, this is going to be fun. Will anyone else be playing with us later on? Nope. It'll just be us four. What about Jace? How come he can't play truth or dare with us? He's working at his job right now, filling in for one of his co-workers who called in sick. What about Carly, or James? They're busy too. If I recall, they're in the dining room right now, playing a card game. Please tell me that you're done with your turn. Not even close. Because next up, I use Magdalene and Angeli to exceed summon Tiaramisu. Next, I use Tiaramisu's effect, detaching a material from her, then return the Dolce Hoot Cake and Magdalene from my graveyard to my deck in order to send Star Cestus and Driven Daredevil back into yours. This triggers the effect of Madolce Ticket, letting me special summon Madolce Pudding Cess from my deck. And Pudding Cess gains 800 attack and defense since there are no monsters in my graveyard. Then, I'll use Madolce Diaramisu as a single material, to summon Madolce Pudding Cess Chocolat a la mode. But I want to go even further. So I'll use Chocolat a la mode as a single material. For Gaia Dragon, the Thunder Charger. And now, I attack directly for 7,800. I still have 200 life points remaining Carly. Which means I'm still in the game. And thank god your turn is finally over. And then during main phase 2, I activate Sparks. So I win. Again. You're kidding me. That's the third game in a row you beat me in three turns or less. Mattel Shays are the deck I describe as, just die already. <laughs> Alright, then the four of us it is. Let's head upstairs to my bedroom. That way no one can disturb us. Okay Jessica, tell us the rules of the game again, to make sure we're all on the same page. Right. So, we'll all play under some of the normal truth or dare rules. We must perform the dare we are given, or truthfully answer a question we are asked that's given to us. Now normally we'd also play with the passing rule. But we're going to take that rule out, and just have our game be a little back and forth fun. You girls okay with that? Absolutely. Let's do it. Game on. Okay. Heatherly, you can have the honor of going first. All right. Um, let me see. Amberlyn, truth or dare? Um, truth. Would you ever go out on a date with James Sullivan? <laughs> <laughs> what are you smoking, Heatherly? James is not exactly my type. Oh, come on, sis. He seems like a really nice guy. Yeah, my answer is no on that question. Jessica, may I go next? Yes, Samberlin, you may. Heatherly, truth or dare? Truth. Would you ever go out on a date with James Sullivan? Whoa, 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 hold on a second there, sis. That's the exact same question I just asked you. Yeah, well, hate to say this, but I'm getting you back. So, will you answer, or will you take a pass? Well, I'm obviously going to answer the question. And just like you, my answer is going to be a no. All right. Then I guess I'll go next. Jessica. Truth or dare? Dare. Oh, in that case, I've got a good one. I dare you to let us take a picture of what's underneath your shirt and have us send it to Jace. Well, that doesn't sound so bad. I mean, it's not like Jace hasn't seen what's underneath here already. Yeah. Two fluffy pillows that Jace could lay on for hours. Ha ha, very funny. Now which one of you wants to take the picture? I'll do the honor, Jess. And done.
just sent the picture to Jace. He's going to love what he sees. I just know it. Anyway Heatherly, it's your turn again. Juliet. Truth. Or dare. Um. Dare. I dare you to take off your clothes in front of all of us. Wait what? <laughs> no way, I'm not doing that. And why are you laughing Jess? Oh no reason Juliet. So are you going to do the dare? Or are you going to pass? Yeah I'm sorry, but I'm not taking off all my clothes in front of you guys. You three are my closest friends, so I'm going to take a pass. Alright that's fine. Anyway, your turn Amberlyn. Jessica, truth or dare? I'll do a truth this time. Okay, then answer this for us. Where was the first place that you gave Jace a hickey? Oh come on Amberlyn, that's too easy of a question to answer. Go ahead and prove it to her Jess. I first gave Jace a hickey out on the golf course. Yeah, I'm not kidding. <laughs> yeah, you can laugh all you want. I'm not ashamed to admit it. That's so random, Jess. Why would you give Jace his first hickey out on a golf course? This happened years ago, Heatherly. Back in 2016 sometime after Jace and I first met. Did you guys get caught? No, but we almost did. After that day, we both agreed to never do something like that again. Good to know. Now back to truth or dare. I think it's my turn again. Heather Lee, truth or dare? Um, dare. Okay, here's one for you. I dare you to eat some bananas and drink some Sprite. Fuck. That. I'll take a pass. What? It's common knowledge to not eat bananas and drink Sprite at the same time. We will talk about this later, Juliet. But anyway, my turn again. Juliet, truth or dare? Well, given the fact you three are giving me looks, because of my suggested dare to Heather Lee, I'll take a dare myself. Very well, then I dare you to go downstairs to the kitchen, fill up a bag with ice, and drop it into your undies. Note to self. Never dare one of your friends to drink banana and Sprite. They'll find a way to get back at you. Well, what are you waiting for, Juliet? You've already accepted to do the dare, so you... Yeah, I know, Amber Lynn, I know. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, sh shit, that's c c c cold. Well, at least you did the dare and took it like a champ, Juliet. You can take the bag of ice out now so you can warm up. Sounds g g g good, Jess. But considering it, 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 it'll take a while for me to wa 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 warm up. I'd like to skip my 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 next turn. Are you sure? Yeah 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 yes, Jessica. I I I I, I am sure. How are you doing over there, Juliet? Doing a little better and still warming up. Thanks for letting me borrow the blanket. You're welcome. You just concentrate on warming yourself up. As for us, we're going to continue with the game. Whose turn is it? If I can recall, I think it's my turn again. Jessica, truth or dare? Dare. All right. I dare you to twerk. Twerk? In front of you girls? No thank you. Oh come on Jess, what's wrong with shaking your butt in a sexual manner? A. I've never twerked before. And B. I'm not comfortable with doing it. Heatherly and I can respect that. My turn. Now, which one of you two should I choose? Heatherly, truth or dare? Truth. What is the most embarrassing post you've ever posted to social media? That's an easy one. Five years ago, I posted a video of me trying to walk down the stairs while wearing mom's high heels. Really? Yeah. You girls want to see it? All right, Heather Lee, go ahead and play the video. 
So there I am out of view, setting up a video camera. Man, it feels weird looking back and seeing how I used to look. How come you're not talking on screen? Not sure. I'm guessing that I was probably too shy. Either that or I was too distracted by how comfortable my mom's heels felt on my feet. Now right here, is when I decided to position the camera a little over to the left, so that the stairs could come into view. It seems that you were looking very confident Heather Lee. I was. Back then, I thought it looked super easy. <laughs> How come I've never seen this video, or was told about you doing this Heather Lee? Long story short, it was embarrassing and it was not one of my best moments. Are you still going to skip your next turn, Juliet? Or did you change your mind? I'm still going to skip my next turn. I'm still feeling a little cold down there. Alright. Just wanted to make sure. Then that means it'll be my turn again. Amberlin. Truth or dare? Um. Truth. What is the most naughtiest thing you've ever done? When I was 16, I bought this really sexy bikini top. I'll tell ya, I looked pretty damn good in it. Then the following weekend, I went down to the beach to show off my new bikini to the hottest guys in school. They thought I looked super hot, so that's when I bent over and gave them a really nice view. Oh my god Amberlyn, you naughty naughty girl. Did you get a lot of phone numbers that day? Yep, and this summer, I'm planning on doing it again, to see if I can find some potential takers. Oh good grief. Hey girls, what say we finish up our game of truth or dare? I'm starting to think we should do something else. Yeah, I'm thinking about wanting to do something else too. Same. Same. Then we're all in agreement. We each get one more turn apiece. And for this final round, Let's make it a little more challenging. We can only pick dares, and we have to do them no matter what. Ooh, this is going to get interesting. You're up first, Heatherly. Which one of us will you pick? Juliet, I choose you. And what will be your dare of choice? I dare you to go downstairs to the dining room and pull a prank on James. Ooh, good choice. But how should I prank him? I know just the thing. Oh come on James, pretty please? Maybe you could beat me this time. No. No matter how many times you ask me, I'm not going up against that annoying ass deck anymore. You've already beaten me 15 times in a row with it. 20 times in a row. And counting. Fine whatever. I lost track of count anyway. James James James. Come quick. Whoa there Juliet. Calm down and tell me what's wrong. There's some guy at the front door looking for you. He said his name was, Paxton LaBarge. Are you serious right now? James? Who's Paxton? Trust me Carly, you wouldn't want to know. Now please excuse me for a moment you two. I have to find a shotgun. Or maybe my foot will suffice. <laughs> What's so funny Juliet? James just got pranked Carly. I actually didn't expect that to work as well as it did. Well, James fell for it, and he stormed out of the dining room. <laughs> <laughs> By the way Jess, how did you know that the name, Paxton La Barge, would set James off? You can thank Jace for that one. Well whoever Paxton is, I'm guessing he and James have had some history. You might be right, but that's a book we probably shouldn't open. Let's get back to truth or dare. Heather Lee, I'm going to choose you. Alright, and what will your choice of dare for me be? I dare you too. Oh my, excuse me. 
<laughs> well, I was going to dare you to stand on your toes for five seconds, but farting works too. Guess that pizza that I had earlier hit me hard. Damn Heatherly, you've got to clean yourself. You rotten. Now I guess it's my turn. Jessica, I'll pick you. Oh boy, I wonder what I'll be dared to do. I dare you to go into Jace's room, open up his mini fridge, and take one of his Mountain Dews. That's all she has to do, Juliet. I'm so confused why you chose that as a dare for Jessica. I'd be happy to explain. Jace literally has a Mountain Dew addiction. He goes through anywhere from 5 to 8 bottles of Mountain Dew, or Mountain Dew Zero Sugar, every single week. So if I took one of those bottles, he's gonna notice it's missing. Guarantee. Hold on hold on back it up. 5 to 8 bottles of Mountain Dew drinks, every single week. Wanna see for yourselves? I'd be happy to show proof. Holy shit, Jess, you weren't kidding. No way this photo's been altered or photoshopped. It's the real deal. It's impressive, isn't it? Impressive, yet also a bit crazy. We can talk more about Jace's Mountain Dew addiction later. Don't forget we still have to finish our game of truth or dare. You're right, Juliet. I'm the only one left who has to dare someone. And out of all of us here, the only one left to be dared is you, Amberlyn. Yet. So what will be your dare of choice for me? I dare you to prank call someone. That's better than nothing. Now I just have to punch in a random phone number. For the last time you perverted bastard, I'm not going out on a date with you. And word of advice, take a shower. What a bitch. She has no good taste in sexy men like me. Oh boy, I hope this is a bird that's calling me. Yes, hello. Hi there. I'm looking for a really hot and sexy man to satisfy me in bed. You wouldn't happen to be the one I'm looking for, would you? Oh yes, 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 I am. Are you lonely right now? Are you looking for some love and affection? Looking for the most amazing time of your life? Yes, 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 I am. Please make my dreams come true, my sexy fair maiden. Well, then today's your lucky day. But first, you have to listen carefully. Okay, I'm listening. This phone call is being recorded to help police and the FBI in locating sexual predators. You have been identified as one of these people, and we are sending police officers to your current location right now. The FBI is also being notified at this time. No, 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 not good, not good, not good, not good. I just got phone spammed. I need to get out of here. <laughs> Of the sea, to fly so high as you could be.